My name is David Thorpe. I stay in Cape Town. Um, I'm 23. I'm a musician. I started off with violin when I was really young. I got really sick of it because I couldn't, I, I wasn't actually that good at violin at all. And then I started messing around with guitar and drums when I was like 13 or 14. I just keep, kept going with that. Um, and then when I was out of school, I actually started forming bands and like messing around with friends and jamming. Actually, when I started playing in bands, I just wanted to be a guitarist. I didn't even want to be a singer at all. What I did is I like, saved up a whole lot of money bought a really fancy guitar and then my theory was like if I have this fancy guitar I have to be good at it otherwise I don't deserve to own this guitar. When I write lyrics to a song if I'm not being honest if it's not something that I truly like feel, then I just actually will. I won't. I, won't, I only write lyrics that are like very personal to me and like have it, like something in my life that has already affected me. Because if if it's something that like deeply affects me, then it's definitely something that deeply affects everyone else. I usually start with either the piano or guitar, and I'll just be messing around and I'll come up with a a part, and it'll either be like a verse or a chorus, and then. Basically, it comes in like separate parts, and then um, I put it all together. And sometimes it'll be like two completely different ideas, and I'll realize that I've been working on one song for like a month, and that those two parts work together, and I'll put them together. And it's kind of like like that. I make music with uh, four different projects. One's called Beach Party, which is like a surf punk band, and then I'm also in a band called uh, The Dolphins. It's also a punk band, but it's like much more garagey. And then I also do a synth pop project, two piece, which is um, me and one of the guys from Beach Party, but we do um, like kind of 80s revival sort of music. And then I also have my own personal kind of uh, solo project, which is called David Gabriel Corpse. We've actually already like completed the recording of two of the bands. Three, sorry. And then so we have one left, we've got all the songs. So, I want to put out an album for each of the bands that I'm in. I wanted to be on stage like a lot. Like I just kind of really enjoy performing and uh, entertaining people. It was kind of difficult at first because I haven't got any like formal music training or anything and like my parents are very um like you go and you study the thing and then you can do the thing but I'm more kind of like if you do the thing for a few years then you, you can do the thing. At the first they're like but what if it fails and I was kind of like well that's kind of the point it needs to fail for a few years before it can work but they don't understand that. So, but like now it's kind of starting to work a little bit, so they're starting to kind of go, right, you know, that's cool, let him do his thing. Like if it's something that I really want to do, I've always thought, um, if you fail, it won't put, like, put you off it. So you just learn from those failures every time. Music's important to me because it's kind of like all I've already thought about doing for like most of my life, and like all I really wanted to do, so it's just kind of, I never like went and been like, Oh, I should do music. I just kind of always, always done it. You know, I always wanted to be involved in music. I, I wouldn't say I'm like a very hectic person, but when I'm on stage, like I'm really crazy and I really enjoy, like, just going nuts on stage and like, like seeing a reaction from people and like, like working with their like, the way they feel about things and just kind of like, experimenting. I don't know. It's just something I've always enjoyed. And you get to kind of, you like learn a lot about yourself when you're in front of like a few hundred people. Like when I'm on stage, I'm like a completely different, I'm in a completely different mindset, I'm like a completely different person, because it's kind of like, I'm going to like survival mode in a weird way, like, because I'm kind of scared of social situations actually, like, like, and uh, so like, I kind of like throw myself in the deep end with it. 
like I just do, and then it's like it's like, it's like I become a different person completely on stage, and I'm able to kind of do what I always want to do, what I imagine myself doing. When you're-